welcome back to the Mr. New Vegas Show, the show within my opinion, which I respect, the best looking audience around. Somebody prove me wrong? It's just about time to get you some news. A package courier found shot in the head near Good Springs has reportedly regained consciousness and made a full recovery. Now that's a delivery service you can count on. Also, traders from California are being turned away from Mojave Outpost where the NCR is concerned about dangers along Nipton Highway and I-15. You know they say that no news is good news, but I think my program would be awfully dull if that were the case. Hey everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome back to more Fallout New Vegas. Now with 100% less controller drift control issues. Last time we paid a visit to Vault 22, we took care of a little bit of a fungal infestation there. We found the research that was missing, and we also stopped at the Sunset Sarsaparilla HQ, ironically first, before Vault 22, and we destroyed a cap press machine. Now I'm back here at the Crimson Caravan Company Think just so I can turn the quest in because after that we're going to head off to the place that has been built up almost as much as the New Vegas Strip has been. Yes, we are going to Hoover Dam. I also brought Lily along with me because we just haven't had her along much for the adventure. She's the one who's gotten less screen time than, well, the one companion I'm still missing for my little group. I also have Eddie with me because it, it's nice to have a mix between go a good long distance companion and a good short distance companion. So she can close the distance, he can give her some covering fire along with me. But for now, let's go Did talk to Alice and see if this is the last of the work that we need to do for her. Welcome back. Uh, the bottle cap press is no longer an issue. Good. I'm sure you were thorough. Here's your payment for a job well done. And that's it. It's been a pleasure. 99 XP. Pressing matters is complete. 500 bottle caps. Not a bad overhaul. So, with that said and done, I think that's literally the last we're ever going to be coming back to Crimson Caravan. I don't know if I... I might stop back and, you know, uh, Blake might have a few good things for sale every now and then, so I might stop back here. Besides, he still owes me the bloody violin. Uh, but for now, we're going to go and we are going to... Where is it? For the Republic, and get the waypoint to Hoover Dam. We're going to go to Boulder City just because it's the closest location. I don't know if Ranger Station Delta would actually be considered closer. I'll have to, you know, look a little bit into that. But the Boulder City has a road leading straight to Hoover Dam, so we're going to go do, do that. Oh, lovely Boulder City. It's been way too long since we've been here. Now, the way to Hoover Dam was to say would be just where the sign is pointing to. It would be over here. And actually, it looks like Station Delta was actually a closer location than Boulder City was. Oh well, I'm not gonna fast travel by... Is there enemies in the radar? It's weird. Oh right, wrong game. I can't like pull up the radar and show, hey, we got these dudes over here. Eh, it might be geckos or it might be just a couple coyotes. Knowing my luck, it's probably also Cazadors, but they're not moving... Eh, I'm not going to bother with it. It might just be a couple wild dogs. And if so, then this machine has a nice little hollow point uh, solution for them if they try to mess with me. But we should be getting right up to Hoover Dam, literally right around the corner, and there's a bunch of troopers, so... Yeah, I probably should have went to Ranger Station Delta instead of going all the way to Boulder City. Yeah, because the road le Yeah, Ranger Station Delta is literally right there. I could have just walked right up the road to Hoover Dam. So, if you're playing this along with me, don't go to Boulder City if you want to cut back on some time. But there it is in all its damn glory and also terrible draw distance. We have finally made it. And also the music actually changes, although I don't know if it changes because it's nighttime. Uh, I could just wait for the nice little pop-up so I can have this accessed as a fast travel game. Hello? 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 Fast travel. Ranger, I, I, you're doing a good job of guarding that door. I can't read that, that's gibberish. Man, this place does look very well defended. You know, by the two engineers and one patrolling guard. And that's weird, the 
Things not popping up. Okay, just as soon as I say that, it pops up. Of course, game. Ugh, don't you hate it when that happens? Ranger. Let's head on into the visitor center and let's go find the CEO in charge. But before we do that, sitting on the little counter, we got the Hoover Dam snow globe. Very nice. We are only missing one snow globe and... Yeah, it's the Vault uh, 21 snow globe, which is all the way back in the strip. But I can't really get it until I get more Vault suits for Sarah back there, so there's not really anything I can, you know, do. I mean, I could lockpick it, but eh, I really don't want to go through the trouble. Besides, if it gets me paid and gets me experience points, hell yeah, I'm going to go through the quest line for it. And the Hoover Dam music is started up. Makes the whole place sound important. Alright, so where's the CEO? Well, look who it is. What can I do for you? Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt your meal. Uh, do you have any supplies for sale? I'd like to see what you have. for you, I'm not authorized to trade with you. It's against regulations. Not even for a friend of the NCR? Well, that is great and all, but it's really against regulations. I completely understand, but I am working for the good of the NCR, too. I guess I can make an exception, just for you. Alright, let's see what he's been holding out on me. 10mm pistols, combat knife, fire axe, laser pistols, pretty much a zap glove? Huh, I didn't know the NCR carried, like, ballistic uh, melee weapons. I don't know why he's selling lead pipes. Well, uh, it's a dam, so I guess, like, this stuff. Uh, he's got a combat armor, he's got an advanced radiation suit, but I got plenty of those back at the Lucky 38. Uh, he's got metal helmets, he's got recon armor, which is weird, but then again, recon armor technically is like the under armor to the power armor. He carries T-45D power armor, which is pretty good, but but so far only the helmets. Uh, do you have anything good for sale? Uh, I'll take the casings. Always nice to have those on hand if I want to make some more uh, ammunition. Other than that, just ammo boxes and just random ammo that I don't really need. Give me a shot if you need anything else. Alright, so let's go find this commanding officer because I was called all the way out here, so it better be good. This isn't the right location. Excuse me, Lily. No, that's not it. Uh, let's try going upstairs. It should be over here. Hello, Colonel. Good, you made it. I've been receiving reports about the savior of the NCR for a while now and wanted to meet you myself. Finally, the recognition I'm deserving. Especially capable. And right now, I can use all the capable people I can get. Crocker gets handed the fluff missions that no one else wants to do. When people need something really important done, they come to me. Usually, I dispatch one or more rangers to see these things through, but I'm a little short-handed at the moment. Think you're up for a real mission? Hmm, yes ma'am. Since the majority of my men are on assignment dealing with the Legion, I need someone to handle other matters that have arisen. Make no mistake, there's a battle coming, and I intend to make sure there are no loose ends when the time comes. One such loose end is a gang known as the Great Khans. Have you heard of them? Uh, you could say we've had dealings. Then I don't need to tell you that they can be a pain in the ass. The NCR has a rather sordid history with them, and I'm concerned that we'll find them aiding our enemies when the Legion attack comes. That is, unless we get to them first. I want you to visit them in their canyons to the far west and make sure they're in no shape to join the Legion. They're just another gang of raiders as far as I'm concerned, so deal with them appropriately. Any questions? Uh, what if I find they're committed to join the Legion? Then you'll need to make sure none of them are left to do so. Any other questions? Will I have any NCR backup for this? I can't lend you any troops, but I've already sent word to Quartermaster Barden that you're to be given full access to our hardware. You'll have to pay for what you take, however. We can't afford to give away equipment. Did you have any other questions? But technically, I'm a war asset to you, so wouldn't giving me the best equipment for the job would be considered, you know, the right thing to do and not make me pay for it? Ugh, arbitrary games. Why is it always the Quartermaster you have to buy equipment from them, even though you're working for them? What if I can convince them not to join the Legion? Don't fool yourself. I've dealt with enough of these gangs to know that they can't be trusted. Is there anything else? No questions. Good. I look forward to hearing of your progress. Dismissed. Yes, ma'am. 
Well, we got our I've heard the we got our orders. Got to go pay a visit to the cons. It's been way too long since we've actually run into them. Wow, there are so many engineers in this place. Now, we're not going to be making our way to Red Rock Canyon just yet because that is where we need to go, which is all the way over there. We could also stop at the Poseidon gas station, but I'm going to stop all the way back at Good Springs. Yeah, it's been way too long since we've been there. Hell, like at the very beginning of our, of our, little, 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 our, of our adventure. But before we do that, there is one thing that is easily missable in Hoover Dam. And no, I do not want to go to the Dam Tower. I want to go, I think it's on the lower levels of the dam. It's a bit of a maze in here. Uh, it's a server room, trooper. There's a room in here that contains something that's cool in theory, but not really that useful, in my opinion. That's not the room. Is this the room? Uh, no, it's not. Or was it? No, I don't know. This the room. Definitely not that room. Uh, that requires a key. I can't get into there. Where is this room? There it is. Alright, so in this room... Somewhere... Where is it? I know it's in this room somewhere. Is it in this metal box? No, that's sensor modules. I know it's in one of these supply rooms. I'm not crazy. Yeah, straight Nuka-Cola... Is it on the floor? Maybe it's in a different supply room. Lily? Lily! Maybe it was a bad idea to bring her along with such a tight, cramped area. Eh, it's not the place. Uh, man, I know it's in here somewhere. I'm not losing my mind. There it is! Alright, oh, in the room with the biohazard sign, inside the wooden crates are two Chinese stealth armors, which give you a sneak bonus of five. And while they look cool... Also, you technically lose karma, so you want to be, might want to be careful that there are no guards nearby, because it does technically count as stealing. I don't know why they're hiding in a radioactive room. Maybe that's why. But, yeah, you can actually get the Chinese stealth suit from uh, Fallout 3, which, you know, now that the fact that I have a katana... I look like a... <laughs> okay, okay, that that's kind of funny. The fact that my hat's just poking right through the visor. Let me take that off. Uh... And now, with my trusty katana, I can finally do my Zero from Borderlands cosplay. Although, it does not, you know, turn you invisible when you crouch, so it's not as useful as it is in Fallout. Sad, I know. And now, a haiku by TBG. Stealth through the wasteland, my sharpened blade now ready. I look so stupid. But we got our Chinese stealth suit. We are pretty much done with stuff in Hoover Dam for now. We've got our supplies, we got our mission. Let's head out. And hopefully, I don't find myself getting lost at where the Hello. location is of the exit. Oh, the thing with the stuff and the thing. And other things. Ah, uh, Good Springs. It's been far too long since we've been here. And you've never been here, Lily. Or Eddie. Ah, uh, back where it all begin. Oh, the memories. The very, very low quality video memories. But, we're going to be heading back, and we're going to be going over to the side. You remember from the very beginning of our adventure when I tried to go this way out of Good Springs, and, you know... See you right and goes the wrong way, so... Oh god, no! Oh god, no! Oh god! Oh god! Run away! Holy shit, that freaked me the hell out! Yeah. Double weed. Uh, we're gonna be going over to a couple of areas that are on the way to the Red Rock Canyon. They're literally a straight shot from this road. I could have gone to the gas station over by where Vi Violet was when we... Uh, hunted her for a bounty But there's a couple things over here. I want to get mostly their unique Mojave weapons And also I believe there are a couple of star battle caps, which you know since I rotted my teeth out drinking all that sunset sarsaparilla I could totally go for and not you know Glug down 20 bottles of them or 100 bottles But every sign in the world is telling us to keep out 
Am I even going the right way? Yeah, I am. Just want to make sure I wasn't, like, going... No, you're going to the edge of the map, dumbass. Go the other way. Don't look at me like that for getting lost a little bit. It's been way too long since we've been to Good Springs. And taking this path. Although, I'm I'm kind of worried. There's no Cazadors all over. Oh, we got something fast moving. Yeah, it's starting back and forth. That's definitely a Cazador. Either that or a Deathclawn speed. Nope, there's a Cazador nest. Yes, we are in their territory. I do know this is also technically considered Deathclaw territory. Because we're getting dangerously close to it. Oh, definitely Cazador territory. Uh, I believe it was this way is where we need to go because that has the, the weapon on it. If anything, I picked up a few hollow point rounds for uh, this machine so I can, you know, deal with them because the Cazadors have no damage threshold whatsoever. Uh, it doesn't look like this is the location that I need to go to. Oh, well, maybe. Possibly. I don't know. It's been a while since I've been here and random playthroughs of this game. And uh, doesn't look like it, but it is a location. It, we did find a tribal village. A very bloody village. Mm, is there any Sunset Sasperos bottle caps in here? We got Buffalo Gourd Seeds. We got some sim packs, which is nice. Uh, ooh. First aid box. Lovely. Five stim packs, damn. And I think there was also a super stim pack in there. This game's being generous. And the armor. Merc Charmer, Merc Grunt. Sure, why not? Always good to sell. Eh, you know what? Let's take a nap. It's four in the morning. I'll, I'll sleep a couple hours just so we can get some daylight on our side. Even though I kind of technically stick out like a sore thumb in the middle of the day now. But whatever. I don't think there's anything really value worth it. At the travel camp, of course. Knowing me, I'm walking past something very good. That's a that's a huge ass sander root. I'm surprised we walked through that whole thing, and there were little to no Cazadors except for that one that snuck up behind us. That's scary. Uh, that I don't know why that's scaring me so much because, it, like. There should be no reason why there's no cast doors over there. And I think I took the... Huh, I didn't even know there was a back way to this location. Well, I mean, I'm not going to deny it, but still. Uh-oh. There are a lot of things over here. But it is very green. Ah, it's just a bunch of big corners. Alright, well, I won't bug them, and hopefully they don't bug me. I mean, I could get Animal Friend and, you know, not have to worry about them, but... To be honest, Animal Friend isn't really that useful in this game, aside from... You know, wanting to make sure Night Stalkers don't sneak up on you. Although the Giant Mantises, yeah, that, those things can do, go die for all I care. Getting close to a location that has one of the unique weapons, and it's a little town right over there. Although... Oh, it's the big corner family. I'm going to give them a wide berth so that I don't need unnecessary violence. Because that unnecessary violence is going to be directed towards the people in this town, because it is infested with vipers. Let's see if we can actually sneak up on them. Hold, st hold still. Hold. St Stop turning back and forth like a shooting gallery duck. Got him. Charge, my friends! You're you're really going up against this with just your bare fists, dude. You got more balls than I do, but. Uh, one less head than I do. You got a pistol on it. Why didn't you use that? Uh, baseball room. They carry a lot of roving trader hats. I think she just threw a grenade at me. Aha! Take that, random leader! You, on the other hand, uh, you can go die for all I care. 
pop your head like a grape. And you miss completely. Come here, buddy. Bonnie Springs! I get a good shot. Yeah, for some reason, the left leg's the best place to shoot her. Nice! See what they got for sale. Uh, butter knife, casings, leather armor. Really, it's a low level area. I mean, the worst you could probably have to deal with would be the leaders because one carries metal armor that's reinforced, and the other's wearing combat armor that just tossing grenades at you. And this one also carries a trail carbine, so that could be a bit of an issue for people who aren't paying attention. But the leader that's in the combat armor, she carries with her Love and Hate, which is the unique uh, spiked, spiked uh, knuckles. And plasma grenades. Man, that, that would have been even worse. Love and Hate, uh, I really haven't used it a whole lot, so I can't really, like, say anything about it. Where is it? Uh, where? No, seriously, where is it? Oh, there it is. I mean, I guess it's a good melee weapon. Wow, that looks so disorganized. Why is one hand cover up while the other is exposed? Uh, it's a good holdout weapon for when you go into the casinos if you don't have sleepy time and need a good, like, weapon in case the shit hits the fan and you need something to defend yourself with. So I guess you can have that going for you, but honestly, I personally just never used it. But... That was weird. Uh, but over here, somewhere, is Sunset Sarsaparilla's Star Bottle Caps that I really could use right now. I think it would be over by the empty bottles, but no. Where are you? Ah, there they are. They're hidden in one of the crates that had the empty bottles in them. Hey, right. get out of here. Two star bottle cabs, good to go. Uh, I guess we have to head back up this... Ah, there it is. It's up there. Uh, this is the location of the other unique Mojave weapon, and the unfortunate thing is that there are Cazadors surrounding it. As you can see, I think I saw one just tart back to the... behind a rock? I don't know, maybe I'm just outside Cazador territory. Uh, they're darting around over there, and definitely in their territory. I'm okay, and all of a sudden my hand went back to normal, I guess it took off the glove for using love and hate. Oh, look at the little Cazador. Die, you orange-winged devil! Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Lily! Phew! Smashed his face with an iron! Okay, yes, I love seeing those things dead more than anyone else, but that's holding on it a bit too much. Let's just get what we need and get out of here. Uh, should be somewhere around here. I don't see the, the the location for it. Oh, a lot of young ones. Usually, there's, there's like a couple of, of adult ones around here. Hmm. Hey, you might be be like, TBG, you've been freaked out by these things all the time. Why are you so confident now? Well, you know, I got, I got one hit Lily with me. I got bloody mess that up seeing those things explode always makes me smile. And I got a bit more of an arsenal than the just a lousy 9mm pistol I started out with. Of course, that confidence will die soon when I have to go deal with the legendary versions of these things. Where is this location at? I wasn't even really aiming at that one. It was just like, boo! Is that it over there? Uh, it's something. Oh, that's just con stuff. Man, I cannot find it, this thing for the life of me. I'm, eh, you know what? Screw it. There's no reason to... D d dilly dally around having to look for the thing. I'll go up here and see what's up here, and then we'll head off to Red Rock. I don't really want to like makeshift Great Con camp. Was it here? Oh no, wait, there's the camp. Very lackluster camp, but whatever. 
Is there anything up here? Uh, probably not, but just want to make sure. I get sidetracked so easy, but that's fallout for you. You, you try and see, oh, hey, something's going to go smooth, and then all of a sudden, nope! Uh-oh. Those things aren't darting back and forth, and if I know where I am... Yep, I'm in Deathclaw territory. Oh, God, I think one saw me. Yep, one definitely saw me. Lily. Lily, I, th I think we need to leave. Let's back it up. Back it up. Lily has suffered a psychotic break. She will remain aggressive, stay and not respond to your commands. Oh, Lily, why'd you go attack them? You fool. You old foolish fool. Oh, God, they're coming down the... They're coming down the embankment like the wildebeest from Lion King. Of course their AI just bugged out and now they're stuck in one place by an invisible wall. I didn't think I'd have to be fighting death claws in this video. But then again, it was just a couple of young ones. It would be truly terrifying if an alpha male came down that embankment now. But the first death claw killed the game. Take their hands, they're worth 75 caps, so it's a nice little nice little thing to sell. Of course I lost Lily for a bit because she decided to go psychotic and just beat the ever living hell out of them with her club. The hammer, whatever. I would love to have her come back. There you are, Lily. Get over here. Lily, we need to talk about your tactics. What happened in that fight back there? Oh, Pumpkin. Grandma's sorry about that. Sometimes she gets mad and listens to Leo when she really shouldn't. The medicine is supposed to help with that, but sometimes Grandma doesn't take it. Why don't you take your medicine? Sometimes it makes Grandma forget things she doesn't want to forget, Pumpkin. Hmm. Well, that's a little bit of backstory. All I need to do was get you into a blind psychotic rage. And, you know, bob death claws on the head with your hammer. Uh, is anything... Actually, you know what? I think that the vault that I've been looking for is over in that direction. So, we definitely have a destination for when we decide to go deal with them. I'm still not confident enough in my explosive skills. And also, there's death claws patrolling over there. So, yeah, that's a no. I mean, I just handled two, but that was mostly because their AI bugged out, and plus, this thing isn't really what best suited for armor, so if one comes near me, then I'm pretty much going to be ripped to shreds. So let's just head over to Red Rock Canyon. Our goal's right in sight, and I don't want to die, and I have to go all the way back using my Time Lord powers. It'll just be a mess. Should be getting pretty close. Actually... Where are we in conjunction with now? Oh, we were literally right on the edge of Quarry Junction. Still not confident enough to go deal with that situation yet, and that's a whole other can of worms that I don't want to open. Besides, there is actually another quest that's related to Quarry Junction. I might as well, you know, kill two birds with one stone, which is usually the name of the game for when I go for a side quest, which is why I put off Vault uh, 22 for a while. The hell's that thing? Is it just a bunch of big corners? Yeah, it's just a big corner. Ah, yes. The most majestic of the Mojave's creatures. Watch as they freak the hell out trying to get a drink of water. They are so majestic. Let's get out of here. Ah, yes. And here it is. The idiots of the Mojave. So majestic. They're like the lemmings. Lily, would you please get in there and bot them in the face with your giant hammer, please? Holy shit, I'm about to die. Okay, enough enough ne messing around with the uh, the combat, the stealth armor. Let's go with the heavy duty stuff. Let's heal myself up, and then we're going to deal with these Legion punks. Let's just use a couple super stims. Whoa! No wonder I was about to die. They threw a couple plasma grenades at me. Um, 
come on. Come on. No, don't. Okay, Lily, you got that one. Nice. Lily, it would be really nice if you would actually go in and smack them in the face with the hammer, please. I think Eddie's out cold. Oh, nope. Eddie's fine, but he's dangerously close to being knocked out. Can actually aim. And not run out of ammo. Dead Eye Me just shot the weapon right out of his hand. That was actually kind of badass. Oh, he's got spears. How do you knock a robot out with a throwing spear? Dude's got the arm of an Olympian, for crying out loud. Let's just collect the battle prizes. Alrighty then, so with all that said and done, I decided to ditch the Chinese stealth armor because honestly, the situation is not calling for it right now. I don't know if I'm ever going to be using stealth in this game except for, you know, the one time I actually used stealth because it was kind of mandatory for the side quest. You know the one! So let's get over to Red Rock Canyon. We're literally a stone's throw away from our goal. I really just don't want any more distractions. Oh, look, a butterfly. No, I'm just kidding. So close. The canyon is right here. The rocks, they are turning red. We have made it to Red Rock Canyon, ladies and gentlemen. Well, not yet. Not until the little dun thing pops up on the screen and I get a little bit of experience for discovering the location. The place is looking very rocky and very red. And thankfully, since I helped out the Great Cons back in Border City way back near the start of our adventure, no one will be shooting at me. Now, if I came in wearing NCR armor, then they would be gunning me down on sight. Let's just head on up. Hello, madam. Go to Red Rock Canyon, I make contact with the Great Con. Yeah, I would be, but I'm not doing Yes Man's side quest, main story quest, so there's no reason to go back to Yes Man. Well, that's not true. I might go back to Yes Man and talk to him every now and then. Uh, this is the location. I guess we're supposed to be on, like, some, like, Native American, like, reservation in the canyon, or what? Because the buildings in here look very, like, reservationist. Ah, uh, yes, the Great Cons. They model themselves after the cult of Hulk Hogan. Brother! Papa Con. So the cub enters the wolf's den. What do you want, cub? I want that sweet-ass helmet you got there. Uh, I've come to ask the Great Cons to break their alliance with the Legion. Have you now? Hmm, well, you're a bold one, I'll give you that. But why should I do this for you? Caesar is only using you. He doesn't re actually care about the Great Cons. Doesn't he? Caesar's representative tells a different tale. The glory of the Great Cons will be restored. And once the NCR is pushed back to California, all the land from here to the Colorado will be ours. I won't hear any more talk against Caesar or his alliance. The Great Cons will answer Caesar's call to war, and the NCR will pay for their crimes. All right, well, what can you tell me about your people? You want to hear the story of the Great Cons? It's a long one, full of honor, glory, and betrayal. We have suffered, but we will regain our glory. Uh... Maybe you could give me the short version. I'm surprised there's no, like... Hey, I want to hear the full story thing. In a hurry, are you? Very well, then. The Great Cons came east, out of the NCR 14 years ago. We ruled the wastes then, and called no man master. But we underestimated the families of the Strip, and they drove us back to Bitter Springs, where we remained until the NCR arrived and drove us here. How did the three families defeat you? They allied with Mr. House, the self-proclaimed master of New Vegas. He supported them with the resources of New Vegas. Weapons, technology, caps. They were better equipped, and we could not stand against them. Uh, what happened to Bitter Springs, even though we already know the story? 
When the NCR came to the Mojave, we thought they would be easy pickings. We raided their caravans, their towns, their camps. They couldn't stop us. At least that's what we thought. They tracked us to Bitter Springs and surrounded us. When our children, our sick and old, fled through a nearby pass, the NCR gunned them down. That doesn't sound like the, something the NCR would order. Oh, they claimed it was a miscommunication, but tell that to those who saw our families butchered. Tell it to the survivors who were banished here. Alright, well, let's talk about something else, because now I'm thoroughly depressed. No reference for history in the younger generations. I'd listen to you. You march all the way out to Red Rock Canyon, enter my home as bold as you please, and you have no idea who I am? You've got guts. I'll give I like how they called out that trope. Well then, let me educate you. I am the chief of the great cons. The con of cons, if you like. This is my tribe, and these are my people. I like how they call out the trope of you always entering a random person's house, not knowing who they are. And it's like, who are you? Oh, you come here and you do all this stuff and you don't know who I am? Bye, Carl! Caesar's veterans will arrive from Arizona soon, and there will be no stopping our victory. What do you think of the cons? They're a tribe of fine warriors with many proud traditions and a glorious history. They will be worthy additions. To oh, you're the Legion liaison. Yes. Goodbye. I'm surprised he's not pulling a gun out on me after I just butchered an assassin squad. I'm pretty sure he probably sent after me. Since they were literally coming right from Red Rock Canyon. I haven't seen you before. What brings you to the Great Cons? Uh, what's your opinion on the NCR? That's a complicated question. They've done horrible things to our people to be sure. And I've gladly killed many of their soldiers in battle. But I can't bring myself to hate them the way Papa does. Things would damn sure be better for us if they were in charge than Caesar. So, if you were to... If you were in charge of the tribe, you'd fight with the NCR against Caesar if asked? I suppose if asked, I would. But that's a moot point, because Papa's in charge now, and he's not going anywhere. Oh, my Papa. Tell me about your dad, Papa, if he even is your dad. Papa is one of the best leaders the Cons have ever had. He's kept us together through all of our hardships, ever since we left California. Bitter Springs changed him, though. He started to really hate the NCR after the massacre. And sometimes, I worry that's poisoned his mind. What do you mean about Papa's hatred poisoning his mind? Nothing. Forget about it. I shouldn't be talking about this with an outsider. Dude, I have helped your people get out of a situation that they were almost certainly going to get killed in. I think I am owed a little bit of explanation. Name's Regis. I'm Papa Khan's advisor and right-hand man. I'm also the chief enforcer of the tribe's law. Okay, so Papa's so just a title. Behavior. Is there anything else, uh, Bitter Springs, even though this story has been told me t to me to death? I really don't like to talk about it. Uh, alright, I have no sure. more questions. Go ahead. Later. Until next time. Well, Lily, you making yourself at home? I can tell. I think this is probably the best time to end things off here. I heard you try to convince Pop. Regis, how the hell did you sneak around leader. past me even though I, I was just talking to you? About that for a moment. What did you have in mind? You want to convince Papa not to ally with Caesar, right? Trust me, you'll get nowhere just talking to him about it. He's fixated on restoring the glory of the great cons, and he sees Caesar as the path to that restoration. So what do I do? Papa can be a stubborn man, but he's not a tyrant. He listens to his tribe, and to four voices in particular. Me, Jack, Diane, and Melissa. If you can convince all of us that allying with Caesar is a bad idea, you might be able to sway him. Aren't you convinced already, if we're having this conversation? I have my doubts about Caesar, yes. But I won't publicly go against Papa Khan based on nothing more than doubts. I've heard rumors that tribes who aligned with Caesar in the past were torn apart and reduced to slaves. Prove it, and I'll back you. All right. What would convince me to? What would take me to convince Jack and Diane to support me? 
You'd have to talk to them, but those two have been thick as thieves since they were kids. Convince one, and the other will come around. All right. What about Melissa? Ah, Melissa. She's a bit of a dreamer. Last time she was in camp, Carl filled her head with stories of serving the Legion as a speculatore. Personally, I've never seen a woman in Legionnaire's armor, so I have my doubts. Well, if you decide to play as a female character inside with the Legion, then that's a different story. Uh, okay, I'll see what I can do to convince everyone. Good. Oh, one more thing. Caesar's representative, Carl, has become fast friends with Pava. Carl's the one who has him so fixated on this alliance. You'll probably have an easier time of things if you can find a way to get him out of the picture. And how would I do that? Carl talks prettily about the honor and nobility of the great cons, but I suspect his actual opinion is less flattering. Maybe you could find something he wrote that expresses that opinion, or trick him into losing his cool in the longhouse right in front of Papa. I'll keep that in mind. I would too, if I were you. Well, looks like we've got a few leads on how to sway the cons away from the Legion. I think we're going to be doing that next time. So, I guess until then, I will see you guys next time. Later.